agentic systems have been getting a lot of attention lately, and Perplexity is not out of the question either, with the launch of Perplexity AI's Comet browser. So, why is this new browser so special, and how exactly does this technology work? Comet is built on a foundation called Chromium, meaning that it inherits the compatibility of the open-source platform that powers Chrome, Edge, and many others, so it's already on the same level as those browsers to begin with. But, the similarity ends there. What makes Comet so good is that Perplexity has deeply combined its own AI engine into Comet's fabric, and this acts as the brain of the browser. This engine leverages powerful large language models like GPT-4.0 and Claude 4 Sonnet, along with Perplexity's own Sonar LLM. Depending on the complexity and type of your request, it chooses an appropriate LLM to use for the task. How it understands what's on your screen is with real-time document object model awareness. It creates a dynamic representation of a web document for itself and interacts with this version of the website. This means it actively understands the structure of the web page instead of just staring at pixels. But beyond DOM awareness, Comet uses sophisticated contextual understanding algorithms, which use advanced natural language processing and understanding to comprehend your natural language prompts, and extract information from the web content. There's also a special feature for its privacy, and that is despite its deep integration with your web activity, Comet is designed for local first storage. That means most of your browsing data will be kept to yourself and won't be used for training either. But let's take a step towards the process of how it takes action upon your request. That lies in its agentic planning and execution algorithms. Basically, whenever you give it a request, it breaks down your request into smaller, more manageable subtasks. Then it decides the best way of executing each subtask and takes action, completing the mission step by step. When it's executing tasks, it uses API integration to connect to services like Gmail and interact with the surroundings. But when API isn't enough, Comet switches to simulated browsing. This way, Comet can take control of the tab and start interacting with the web page manually, just like a human would. While still in its early stages, Comet represents the impending age of the agentic browser, and it's set to redefine how we work, learn, and interact with the internet.